tip means what lightning for all occasions? What? what? Yeah, they can't be out in front of the crowd to, I don't know, um, hold on. I'm from East Spoke, Alabama, my name's Clint Cleveland. Okay. And this is Grandpa right here. Grandpa. Okay. We've got, we got an air show going on, and, and the, the show folks need to get your truck moved back into the parking area. You can't park up here. Oh, well, it's this parking just fine, I think. But anyway, there's a fella named Bob. Yeah, we know, we know Bob. He's got the... That's him right there. Yeah. Yeah. He's a little thinner back, back there, but <laughs> that's Bob. He sold me this, this uh, certificate for introductory blindness. Sir, this is dated 1984. Yeah, yes, yeah, sir. And you know what it says right here, Bob? What is it? It says, redeemable upon demand. We've got an air show to get on with right now. Bob, if you want to work this out. No, 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 no. I've got another picking job now. If you want to negotiate this, you can talk to Grandpa. Oh, and my schedule just opened up. There, see, there you go. Yeah. I knew he'd understand. Fly out of the airspace is what you want to do. Okay. okay. Sir. Grandpa, please put, please put the airplane down. That, it, it's not going to be too light when you get in there. It's too light. I don't know if I want to ride no airplane that I weigh more than. Take, take this guy. Uh, go sit at his home. It's awful light. I don't know. Take, take this guy, strap him in, go about eight miles north and like, you know, and, and ring this guy. Good airplane. Now, now, Clem, Sir, are, we, are we gonna do this or not? Now, he needs to reload. Is that what we're talking about? No, we don't need to, we don't need to bring that into the equation here, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. I am I am embarrassed. I don't exactly know what this is, uh, and I apologize for the delay. This guy. He pushed the red button. He did push the red button. I was running, and he pushed the red button. Thank, thank you for that intel. Boss, we need to get that airplane back on the ground. Grandpa, hey, Grandpa, does he even know how to fly this thing? Because he's all wibbling, wobbling all over the place. Oh, he's coming back this way. They're talking down. They're talking down? Does he, do you have a radio in, in the cup? Yeah, just tell him pull back, make the house small. That's the best flight instruction I have heard in years. And he's out there. There are pedestrians. There are trees. Trees. Trees are not good for flight. And and the buildings. Buildings are bad for airplanes too. So then, quick fly slideways out there. Thank you, sir. Oh. Not teaching you to fly. You can. <laughs> Yeah, Bob, Bob says yes, that is true. I, we're watching this guy. Hey, Grandpa, see if you can get a shot on him or something. Sweet. Grandpa, no, you shot his tire off. A tar? A, a tar, okay, yeah. Oh, he just bounced over top of the pyro team. What are you doing, dude? He's from the cockpit. Grandpa, see if you can get a shot of him. Shoot him like you shoot those squirrels down in Alabama. Yeah, get a lead on him. There you go. Oh, good shoot there, Grandpa. I think you hit his, uh, the oil reservoir. He's not gonna fly for too much longer. And them Alabama boys can put anything in the back of a pickup truck. The Alabama boys, picking, grooming, Plumbing the distillery? Bob, are you guys going to get in the truck? You're getting in the truck. Why? What? Because you can put anything in the back of a pickup truck? Yeah. Maybe you can in Alabama, but here in Louisiana, we have laws. Though I have seen some things. If this is a surprise to any of you, I am sorry. But the individuals that we are seeing are not that of Cliff Cleaver. Grandpa, the dad of Greg Goose and Fred Masterson. They are the Alabama boys. They are back and momentarily are going to be working their way around to land this Piper Cub on top of a moving pickup truck. We're going to watch now. This is Greg Goose 
aka Cold Creamer from East Tobogo, Alabama, wants to land on the world's smallest runway. Now, you will see a platform on top of that truck, and it's just enough space for him to put the tires on it. He's done now, but he's still flying. He is not done quite yet. He has to get those tires into the divots right there, but he's not done flying. The tail is still flying, he is still moving, as they now slowly come to a stop. That, ladies and gentlemen, is indeed a fully successful arrested landing on top of a pickup truck. Let's put our hands together for Greg Coots, Fred Masterson, the Alabama Boys.